Well, hello, folks, and welcome to The Final Spin. I'm Ben Clements right here in Loveland, Colorado at The Ranch. And what a beautiful facility and a great roping we have in store this weekend. It is the High Plains Regional Finals. Stay tuned for coverage from the American and the Open Division. Well, the team roping action was hot right here at the ranch in Loveland, Colorado. Let's get underway as we look at the American qualifier and the short round. We're going to start with the 14th high team back. It's Britt Williams and Jarrett Bilby. Now, this team is a 30.08 to qualify to the short round. A run right here of 16.39 would take them to the lead, and they waste no time. They are 6 and 73 right here on a clean run. Put them at 36 and 81, and they're the leader. We'll slide up to the 10th high team back. It's Sean Darnell and his partner, Trey Yates. These guys have been roping outstanding. They are at 28 flat and needing to be 880 right here to jump to the lead of the rope. And what happens? Sean gets it on him in a hurry. His partner comes in on the backside. They are 7 and 41 clean, and they are 35 and 41. They're the new leaders. We'll slide to the ninth high team back. It's Lee Hagler and his partner, Trevor Kirchenslager. Now, these guys are a 27, 45 and they need to be a 7.95 to go to the lead. Lee gets it on this steer and Trevor sets him down. A clean run for these guys, 7.78 and they catapult to the lead of the Ropen. The eighth high team back, well, that is Paul Beckett. His partner is Clayton Van Aken, another 26.47. So what do they need to do? An 8.76 would be the benchmark to take them to the lead of the Ropen. Paul Beckett gets it on him, comes around to the backside. Clayton Van Aken, one hind leg, and they're going to be at 1270. That is going to put their total at 39 and 17, and they are fourth. The next team to go is the seventh high team back, and that's Clay Norrell and his partner Cullen Teller. They're out of Colorado. They're 2549. So if they can catch this steer in simply a 973, that would take them to the lead of the rope. And Clay Norrell gets it on him, and Cullen Teller, one hind leg plus five. They're going to be 12 and 68 on theirs, so they are 38 and 17, and they're third. We'll go to the fifth high team back. Here is Jay Ellerman, Trey Johnson. Now this team is 24-29. What do they need? 10-93 to go to the lead. Jay Ellerman gets him caught. Trey Johnson to the backside. Well, they're plus five, 1401. They are 38 and 30, and that's going to put them fourth at the moment. Well, let's slide now to the fourth high team back. It's Trice Watts and TJ Watts out of Eats, Colorado. They're 2383. 1169. The door is wide open for them to go to the lead. Trice gets him caught, and look at this TJ. Set one down, clean 702. They are 30 and 55, and they're now number one. The third high team back is Jay Tittle, and we got Cullen Teller back. This team's 23-33. What do they need to do? Oh, man, they got to get him caught in a 722 to go to the lead of the rope. And Jay gets him caught right here, and Cullen comes around. Well, it's going to be a 773, a little longer than they wanted to be. They're 3106, but they're still going to the semifinals of the American as they are second. We'll go to the second high team back, Britt Williams and Bobby Harris. Now, these guys are open hot today. They are 2106. So if they could be 948 right here, they'd jump into the lead. Britt Williams gets it on him, and Big Bob, look at this. Clean, 810. They're good. They're 2916, and that puts them first. They've got one to sweat. As we come right here to the high team back, it is going to be Clay Tryon on the head side. His partner, Jade Corkill, 917 to win it, and they're going to be smooth. They're going to be 590, and that is going to put them 2588. They are first for $5,500. So, congratulations to Clay Trine and Jade Corkill as they take home. $5,500 and first place right here, and they get a qualification to the semifinals. Congratulations to all of the top 10 that advance and get to compete for potentially $1 million. With that said and done, let's go to the short round of the Open, where it was just as an exciting a finish as the American. We'll start with the eighth high team back, 
Lee Hagler and his partner Trevor Kurtzenslager. Now 35-23 got them there in eighth, and they need to be a 698 right here. Lee Hagler comes with it, gets him caught, and look at Trevor setting him down, 698. They're gonna go to the lead right here, and we'll go to the seventh high team back. The seventh high team back is Clayton Van Aken and Byron Wilkerson, as they are a 34 and 50. They need to be this 693 to go to the lead. Clayton Van Eken comes with a big swing, catches him. And Byron Wilkerson, this guy is nothing nice when it comes to roping two feet. He does a great job right here. 597 on a clean run. They're 40-47, and they go to the lead. We'll go to the fifth high team back. It's the Watts boys. Trice and TJ, now they're 30 and 55. They're going to be a 990 to go to the lead. And they waste no time either. 563 right here. They're 36 18, and it gets salty. We go to the top four. It is Britt Williams and Big Bobby Harris. These guys won second in the qualifier for the American. Now they're back to get some more money. They are 29 16. 7 01 is the time to beat, and they get him caught right here with a 554 and a smoke and run. 34 70, and they go to the lead. We'll go to the second high team back. Clay Trine and Buddy Hawkins. Now they are 26-40. A run of 829 here would take them to the lead. And Clay gets him caught. Buddy comes around on the backside. Well, he ropes one hind leg. 1276 puts them at 3916. And ladies and gentlemen, they are going to be third. The win of the open division. It's Britt Williams and Bobby Harris. These guys roped an outstanding roping. $5,766 trophy gifts first to the champions out of this roping. Britt, you just won nearly $6,000 in this open prelim. Tell me about this roping. You know, it was my first time at one of these American deals. Uh, first one, or the only one even near my house. So I was just happy to come down here, get a chance to get out of feeding cows and calving heifers in February. And uh, Bob and I roped pretty smart the whole roping and made a really good run the short round. And luckily, I don't know how often it happens, but Clay Tryon didn't beat me every time. Well, how did you two guys team up to rope here? You know, Bob and I have been roping since I was a little kid, and then we roped together in 2010 and had a little success. We both went home to do different things, and we just kind of got started roping again this summer. Well, you said you'd rope together in 2010. This is 2014. A different game plan? Uh, a little. I don't reach very well anymore. I got a pretty nice horse for the average deal, but we don't go near as much and just try to catch what we can. Well, now walk me through this short round run. Uh, got a pretty good start. Steer was big and black and running hard, and I'd run right to every one of them, so my horse was pretty free all day. And she let me reach and get a dally, and Bobby held them good. Well, you roped great today. Congratulations on your win. Bobby, you just won this open prelim. Tell me about this roping. Well, you know, there's two ropings that we needed to qualify for the open. Good roping, best roping of the year in our country up here, and then for the American, too. So there's a lot up today, and uh, it's nice to come to the U.S. ropings because they're well-organized, good steers. Um, just glad I won the roping. <laughs> well, now, was there any pressure roping with your partner? No, I've known Britt since he's a little boy. His dad and I went to grade school and high school together, and we made the finals in 10, and really more comfortable than anything. Uh, and that's what you need. You need a good team rapport when you go rope, you know, because you go against the good guys. They rope together all the time. So it's nice. We rope throughout the year, so we have a, we have a good feeling to rope together. Well, now tell me with this rope and being combined with the American, do you have a different game plan coming in here? Well, you know, you, you got to kind of cover your base there for the American because you want to make that top 10 to go down there and rope for that, but yet you want to win good in the rope. And what will happen sometimes is, is you'll get the top teams, say like Clay and them today, they can really rope for the roping because they, they know they're going to make the American from the top 10. So they kind of got you there. So we're kind of covering our bases, but yet we want to win, and it just worked out really good today. Well, you guys roped great today. Congratulations on your win. Ah, uh, thank you, and thank the USTRC for this roping and, and this open roping. Well, a congratulations again goes out to Britt Williams and Bobby Harris roping a good roping, and great to talk to those guys. Congratulations again to all of our champions out of the open division and the American qualifier right here in Loveland, Colorado. Stay tuned to the final spin because we've got complete coverage from the entire Labor Day weekend at the High Plains Regional Finals.